Um, yeah, okay. So the, uh, the, the, the book that everyone in my industry is talking about this year is, is um, The Man Who Solved the Market, uh, the, the Jim Simons book. So Renaissance Technologies, arguably the greatest hedge fund of all time, um, has just produced staggering returns in their, their flagship kind of insider only medallion fund. Um, super secretive. No one is, no one knows how to do it. Like they've turned out s such impressive numbers that people have been accusing them of fraud. Like it's, it's almost unbelievable that they can, that they've been so consistent. Um, and there's, uh, this book out this year by a writer, I think he's from the New York times who has just kind of been the, the Rentech beat writer forever and has over time, like convinced these key players to actually give him an interview. He ends up getting an interview with Jim Simons, the guy, the, the founder. Um, and so it's this kind of incredible inside look at this money-making machine um, that anyone who's interested in quant should, should for sure read. Can't recommend it enough. Um, it's really just stunning to see that like people were in the late seventies thinking up some, you know, trading strategies that wouldn't become mainstream until maybe the early 2000s or late 90s. Like they were just so far ahead of the game that it's, it, it's remarkable that, you know, they, they were compiling databases of prices by hand to build these quant signals back then. So very, very cool if, you, if you're into the, into the area. Um, Another, the, the gateway drug for me was Flash Boys, the Michael Lewis book. That was actually the first time I had ever heard of Citadel. And while the book doesn't portray Citadel in the most positive light, I do think that it's kind of a, well, the, the book has a lot of missteps and there's a lot of things that are maybe kind of mischaracterized about high frequency, but it's definitely like a cool kind of intro to, to the area if you're, um, and it's in very much, kind of layman's terms is very accessible. So that's another one, another quant book I, I recommend. Um, in terms of like non-business stuff, I, I love this author Murakami. He's a, he's a ja Japanese author and he writes kind of this like sci-fi mystic fiction stuff. And it's, it's dreamy and cool and weird. And I don't know, I've, I've probably read about like, five of his books now and I, I really like him.